All right, my dudes, it is time for us finally to write some code and make our website much better than what we have previously. So what I will do, I will jump over to this website that we have used previously and it is called bin.io, all right? And here you have maybe noticed that I changed the looking because I have signed up and created an account here. You don't have to do that, but uh, I have to do that because as a creator, I need to save this for later on because I cannot keep recording all the day. So that's why maybe I am gonna record it in the next day. So that's why I have to save it. And in order for me to save this code, I have to create an account. In your case, maybe you do not need or even you can create an account because you cannot watch all the day. However, here is my markup, right? We have a section with two divs, okay? The courses, let's say the courses section has, um, let's say uh, two courses, the web design course and Android development course. Now this is really talking this is nothing is real okay i have just divided this by my own but let's go ahead and give our sections and names so we can understand them we can identify them okay to do that we are going to use attributes so in this video i'm gonna focus on attributes so one of the i have told you previously that uh, in order for us to give our tags extra information, we have to use attributes, right? Okay. Now, what do I mean by extra information? Extra information are just gonna be like, we are going to give our tag more information. We are gonna, let's say, make it unique more than the other tags, okay? So for, that, for example, this section right here is related or it has all the information that is related to the courses, right? So it is a better approach to give this section a name and I'm gonna call it courses because this section contain all the courses information. Now in order for us to give it a name, to give any HTML tag a name, then we have, we can use ID, okay, which stands for identifier Okay, this is an attribute. I have told you previously that we can type the attribute name, equal sign, and between the double quotes, we can give it the value. Here, for example, I could have called it courses. So this section right here now has a name of courses. Okay, so we have two uh, ways or two approaches that we can follow in order for us to name our tags. The first one is a tag, okay? And the second one, let me just give it a class. Okay, class stands for nothing, okay? It's just a class. And I just can call it courses. Okay, so these are the two ways that we can follow in order for us to name our tags, okay? So this is really, really cool. The only question is in mind, hey, what is the difference between ID and a class, right? So this is a pretty good question. Now, the difference is that here, for example, I have two divs, okay? I have, I have here two divs, right? So let me switch back here and show you an example in order for us to understand this even better. So you can see these are these two boxes. The first expert here, this, this box right here that I am, here I have, this box right here and this one right here so these are they have the exact same style okay so they have the exact same style okay the same width the same height and even the same color the same background color and so on so we have a common style between them so they are sharing the style between each other very cool so here instead of give each one a name I can use one name, okay, because they have the exact same style, okay, they have the exact same specifications, so I can give them a, a uni or the same name. 
Now, in this case, when you have two HTML tags or more than two, then you can give them the same name. If they are, of course, sharing the exact same style. And in order for us to give them the exact same uh, name, we can use the class, not the ID. You can use only an ID one bear attack. So for example, I cannot have a second ID that has a, uh, the course's name. Okay, this is not valid. For example, for this div right here, I cannot give it an ID equal to courses. This is really, really, really not valid. Okay, courses if I can spell courses like so. Okay, this is not valid. We cannot have two IDs with the exact same name. It is just not good idea. All right. So that's why we can have, we can use classes multiple times. Okay. So that's why since these two divs will have the exact same style. So what I can do, I can get, I can give this a class equal to course, only one course. Okay. And this one right here also will have the exact same thing. So of course, like this. So this one has a course class and this one has a course class. So these two items will share the style between each other. However, for the ID, we cannot have something like this at all. All right. So you can keep this as it is. Okay. Or you can remove that class. It is really doesn't matter. Okay. Now we have an ID. Now this section right here has a name of courses. Okay. So this is how you can name our HTML tags and make it even unique. All right. And of course you could have give this H3 class. Okay. Equal to let's say course hyphen title. Okay. This is really good name. Okay. Just keep in mind that you cannot give a space between when you are naming your classes or your IDs, you cannot give them an, a space. Okay, if I type course space title, this will be a class and this will be a second class for the same HTML tag. It's a valid, okay, you cannot keep, we can keep it like this. We can give an HTML tag multiple classes, but here in this case, I do not want to give it two classes. I wanna give it one class with this name right here which is courses hyphen title or course hyphen title. This one will be class equal to course hyphen disk for description. And the image will be, I'm gonna give it a class equal to course hyphen image like so. I'm gonna copy these exact same names for my second div right here because I they will have the exact same style. All right, my dude, so base it here, last but not least, our image. So here you go. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I have showed you how you can name your HTML tags using the classes and the IDs. So here's how, here's the the, here is the final structure. We have a section with the name of courses. We have two courses, the first one right here and the second one right here. And each HTML, each HTML tag now has a unique identifier that we, that we can call with. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use these names to modify your CSS. So see you in that one.